So I'm going to film an update to the window seal replacement. There's three done and I ran out of material but I've ordered more and I'm going to do the next three windows today I hope or the final three windows today including the windshield and uh, if you remember the previous video about uh, about this I had a lot of trouble getting the seal lock to work. I thought I would show you that in a little more detail and show you how I'm hoping to do it a little better this time. You can see here, this is what the seal looks like when it's unlocked. This is the locking key right here. And here is what it looks like when it's locked. So the problem is to get the lock, sort of the key into the lock right up here. And um, they make a tool for that, but it's like 50 bucks. And I decided to make one. I, well, at first I tried to do it without with a couple of um, basically a, like a screwdriver and one of those uh, windshield picks. And instead, I decided to make a tool that's shaped like the trim lock tool out of an old coat hanger and some electric tape. And the way it's going to work, or at least the way I hope it works, is basically you put this in and this rides inside the lock strip inside. And I can twist it and put it in place and hopefully just pull it down and it will lock into place as I pull. Maybe you need to push it a little by hand, but see how that goes. And I'm hoping that'll speed the process up a lot. Like that. So um, I'll put you guys on time lapse and take this window out, put in the new seal, and we'll see how it all goes. Okay, the seal and window are in, so it's time to put in the lock. And so here's my tool, and I really can't work this one-handed, but I'll try to just show you how it works. Sort of like that. So I've used plenty of soapy water so that it slides through, and. I did file off this end, so it's, it's all rounded, so hopefully it won't cut the rubber. So I'll put you back on time lapse and we'll see how it all goes.
Well, the little tool helped a lot. It went much faster this time. I hope we can see that. So um, if you don't want to buy that uh, $50 trim lock tool, you can make one out of a coat hanger for nothing. And it works okay. Um, the wire could be a little stiffer. You can see I bent it a little. I'll have to straighten it before I do the next window.